ever wondered how Euclidean geometry, a concept from ancient Greece, shapes your world today? Euclidean geometry, named after the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, forms the bedrock of many mathematical principles we use today. Born in an era of philosophical and mathematical exploration, Euclid's work has withstood the test of time, its relevance undiminished over thousands of years. Euclid is often referred to as the father of geometry and for good reason. He laid out a system of geometry that was based on a set of axioms and postulates, fundamental truths that define the properties of points, lines, and planes. These assumptions, seemingly simple yet profound, serve as the building blocks of Euclidean geometry. Among these axioms and postulates, one stands out for its fame and significance, the parallel postulate. It posits that for a given line and a point not on the line, there is exactly one line through the point that is parallel to the given line. This postulate, while straightforward in theory, has profound implications and is a cornerstone in our understanding of space and shape. Euclidean geometry is not just about lines and points though. It delves into the properties of geometric figures such as lines, angles, triangles, and circles. It also explores complex concepts like congruence, similarity, and the Pythagorean theorem, which explains the relationship between the sides of a right-angled triangle. The beauty of Euclidean geometry lies in its simplicity and its universality. The principles it espouses are not confined to the realm of abstract thought. They are tangible, visible in the world around us, and form the basis of many other areas of mathematics. Euclidean geometry, in its essence, is a language. A language that helps us describe the world. A language that helps us understand the intricacies of the universe. It's a language that was born thousands of years ago, yet continues to evolve and shape our understanding of the mathematical world. So, Euclidean geometry, originating thousands of years ago, still forms the basis of many mathematical concepts today. Now let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of Euclidean geometry. What makes Euclidean geometry so compelling? Well, it's the exploration of fundamental shapes and figures that make up our world. We start with the basics, points, lines, and planes. These are the simplest elements in the realm of Euclidean geometry. A line, for instance, stretches indefinitely in two directions, with no curves or bends. It's a straightforward concept, yet it paves the way for more complex discussions. Next, we have angles, triangles, and circles. Angles formed by two lines intersecting are a cornerstone in understanding shapes. Triangles, composed of three lines and three angles, are one of the simplest geometric figures. Yet, they are incredibly versatile, appearing in everything from architectural design to graphic art. Circles, with their perfect symmetry and infinite points, hold a special place in Euclidean geometry. They've been a source of fascination and study, inspiring mathematicians for centuries. But Euclidean geometry isn't just about identifying shapes and figures, it also provides us with tools to compare and contrast them. Concepts like congruence and similarity let us examine how different figures relate to each other. Congruence deals with figures that are the exact same size and shape, while similarity explores figures that share the same shape but differ in size. Then there's the Pythagorean theorem, a fundamental principle in Euclidean geometry. Named after the ancient Greek mathematician Pythagoras, this theorem provides a relationship between the sides of a right triangle. It states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. This theorem has far-reaching implications, influencing fields from architecture to physics. Euclidean geometry with its points, lines, angles, and circles might seem simple on the surface. But it's these basic elements and concepts like congruence, similarity, and the Pythagorean theorem that lay the groundwork for more complex mathematical theories. These concepts, though seemingly simple, are the building blocks of more complex mathematical theories. You may ask, where do we see these geometric concepts in real life? Well, let's dive into the practical applications of Euclidean geometry that are all around us. Consider the field of architecture. Architects use Euclidean geometry to design buildings that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also structurally sound. The angles, lines, and shapes they use are all governed by the principles of Euclidean geometry. When architects design a skyscraper, they rely on the understanding that vertical lines are parallel and will never intersect, ensuring the building won't topple over. Also, the symmetrical patterns seen in designs from the Renaissance to modern architecture are all examples of geometric principles at work. Now, let's take a look at engineering. 
Engineers, much like architects, utilize Euclidean geometry in the designing and building of structures. Bridges, for instance, are often constructed using triangular shapes because triangles, according to Euclidean geometry, are the sturdiest shapes and provide the most support. When engineers design highways or railways, they use the concept of parallel lines to ensure the roads or tracks never converge and cause accidents. Moving on to art, Euclidean geometry plays a crucial role here too. Artists often use geometric shapes and lines in their work to create balance and harmony. Take cubism, for instance, a style of art pioneered by Picasso, which uses geometric shapes to depict reality from multiple perspectives. Or consider the intricate geometric patterns in Islamic art, where the use of circles, squares, and polygons creates mesmerizing designs. Even in the digital world, Euclidean geometry is ever-present. Video game designers and computer graphics professionals use geometric concepts to create realistic virtual environments and characters. So you see, Euclidean geometry is not just a theoretical subject studied in classrooms. It's a practical living thing that shapes our world, from the buildings we live and work in, to the roads we travel on, the art we admire, and even the digital worlds we escape to. Indeed, Euclidean geometry is not confined to textbooks. It breathes life into our surroundings. Euclidean geometry, however, is not the end of the story. Just as any riveting tale has twists and turns, so too does the story of geometry. Beyond the familiar realm of Euclidean geometry lie the less trodden paths of non-Euclidean geometries, such as hyperbolic and spherical geometry. Now you might be wondering, what makes these geometries different? The answer lies in their foundations, their sets of postulates. While Euclidean geometry is based on a set of axioms, including the well-known parallel postulate, non-Euclidean geometries diverge from these principles. They dance to the beat of their own mathematical drum, if you will. Let's take a detour into the world of hyperbolic geometry. It challenges Euclid's parallel postulate head-on by proposing a radical idea. For a given line and a point not on the line, there are infinitely many lines through the point that do not intersect the given line. Picture, if you can, a universe where straight lines curve away from each other, creating a space that expands faster than you can traverse it. This is the peculiar, fascinating landscape of hyperbolic geometry. On the other hand, spherical geometry takes us on a journey where straight lines are great circles, like the equator or the longitude lines on a globe. Intriguingly, in this world, there are no parallel lines at all. Every pair of lines intersects at two points, defying our Euclidean intuition. These non-Euclidean geometries are more than just mathematical curiosities. They offer unique perspectives and tools that have found applications in diverse areas. For instance, hyperbolic geometry is integral to the study of Einstein's theory of general relativity, while spherical geometry plays a crucial role in navigation and in the field of astronomy. In essence, stepping beyond Euclidean geometry is like stepping into a wonderland where familiar rules are bent and new possibilities emerge. These non-Euclidean geometries have pushed the boundaries of mathematics and opened up new horizons. The influence of these geometries extends far beyond mathematics. The study of non-Euclidean geometries, like hyperbolic and spherical, has indeed had a profound impact on the evolution of modern mathematics. This shift from the familiar Euclidean plane to the curvature of non-Euclidean spaces was a groundbreaking revelation, challenging assumptions and expanding horizons. These geometries, which seem almost alien in comparison to our everyday experiences, have found their places in the realms of relativity theory and quantum mechanics, proving that the abstract can often pave the way to the tangible. In the field of physics, for instance, Einstein's theory of relativity is underpinned by the principles of non-Euclidean geometry. Curved spacetime, black holes, the expansion of the universe, all these concepts we grapple with in modern physics are rooted in the intricacies of non-Euclidean geometry. Similarly, in computer science, the algorithms that drive our digital world often rely on geometric principles. From rendering realistic graphics in video games to navigating the shortest path in GPS systems, geometry is at the heart of these technologies. Furthermore, the field of topology, a branch of mathematics closely tied to geometry, is instrumental in data analysis and machine learning, helping us make sense of complex, high-dimensional data. Even the realm of art and design isn't immune to the charms of geometry. Non-Euclidean geometries have influenced modern artists, inspiring works that play with perspective and challenge our perception of space. And let's not forget architecture, where the principles of Euclidean geometry have been used since ancient times, 
and are now complemented and expanded by the possibilities offered by non-Euclidean concepts. Indeed, the ancient Greeks could hardly have imagined how their geometrical concepts would shape the modern world. They gave us the tools to understand the world in lines and angles, in shapes and spaces. And as we've journeyed from the flat plains of Euclid to the curved spaces of Einstein, we've discovered that geometry in all its forms is not just about shapes, it's about understanding the world around us and beyond.